Moving on now to Washington and a major decision by the Supreme Court blocking the Biden administration's temporary ban on evictions. It's a victory for landlords and property owners, and it could spell trouble for people who have struggled to pay their rent during the pandemic. Weijia Zhang is at the Supreme Court for us. Weijia, good morning. Good morning, Tony, and good morning to everybody. The White House said it is disappointed by this ruling, which is a blow to President Biden, the result of the high court's conservative majority and certainly one that he himself saw coming. In a 6-3 decision, the court blocked the Biden administration from enforcing a temporary ban on evictions that was put in place because of the coronavirus pandemic, ending protections for millions of Americans who have not been able to pay the rent. The court said in an unsigned opinion, the CDC has exceeded its authority to issue a nationwide moratorium on evictions, calling it a breathtaking and unprecedented exercise of power by a federal agency. And if a federally imposed eviction moratorium is to continue, Congress must specifically authorize it. The court's three liberals dissented, citing the rise of the COVID-19 Delta variant. The administration has vigorously called on state and local governments to adopt their own eviction measures and distribute existing funds to help keep families in their homes. But just yesterday, the Treasury Department revealed that only $5.1 billion of the more than $46 billion in rental assistance already approved by Congress had gone out through the end of July. Now, earlier this month, the president acknowledged that a new ban may not be constitutional, but he said it was worth a shot to help millions of Americans. Vlad? All right, Weijia Jang for us. Weijia, thank you very much.